But I want to add, he loves the MMA community, right? He loves MMA fighters. He loves trying to be a spokesperson for the sport and bringing it along with himself. Of course, he's honest. He wears his thoughts on his sleeve and he'll attack someone if he sees something that he doesn't agree with. But make no mistake, Jake Paul is a huge fan of MMA. I was a fan of MMA before boxing. Yeah, and so, you know, and guys like Anderson Silva, so. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Just take shower. Good job. Thank you. Uh, Jake, uh, Keith Eidig from BoxingScene.com. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. As the rounds were unfolding, particularly in the second half of the fight, how close of a fight did you feel it was? And what did you think the scorecards would read, particularly after you got the knockdown in the eighth round? Uh, I, I thought it was six rounds to two, which is what I think pretty much the judges had it scored as. My coaches were telling me in the corner, like, hey, you got that round. You didn't get that round. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, it was tough, tough all the way throughout a couple close rounds. Um, and I knew I just had to keep on working and working and working. Uh, but after I got the knockdown, yeah, I uh, knew that I had it in the bag. Hey Jake, Ben Davis from MMA Island. Congrats on the win. Deji expressed how impressed he was with your skills. No interest in KSI at this time? <laughs> <sighs> Man, he, I mean, bro, he won't fight me, especially after this fight. <laughs> like, guy needs to keep on playing FIFA and making shitty rap music. I, I don't really know what the guy does. He's fighting bums, trash cans. I'm trying to become a world champion. Um, and I, he just he's respected the legend as well. Yeah, and he, he's just like, I don't know what the fuck that kid's doing. <laughs>